Today we're going to cover how to change the manual transmission fluid in a Mark VI Golf R. So first we're going to go down here and remove the splash shield. Under the splash shield here is the fill plug up in here, which is a 10 millimeter Allen. And then here's the drain plug, which is also a 10 millimeter Allen. We could probably get tools up in there to reach the fill plug, but I want to be able to get up there and do a little bit of cleaning. So we're going to take off this splash shield. Now with the splash shield down, we can see our drain plug and our fill plug on the transmission here, both the 10 millimeter Allen. So we're going to take this out and I am going to have a uh, bin or pail or whatever you want to call it ready just in case there shouldn't be any fluid or should be just a little bit that comes out so we'll take that out and uh, make sure we can get our fluid in i always take the fill plug out first just in case you can't get it out that way you don't wind up draining all the fluid out to do that we're going to use a 10 millimeter allen socket make sure it's fully seated that way we don't uh, break and strip it, break it loose. Let's take the fill plug out then. Just a little dribble, that's exactly where it should be filled to, so we'll make sure that we have that level when we check it again. Not seeing a gasket on there. There is our plug. And now we'll take the drain plug out. So with our fill plug draining, our drain plug and our pan lined up so we can catch fluid from both of them, we're going to go ahead and break that one loose. Again, making sure that the 10 millimeter Allen is firmly in there so you don't strip it. I'm going to try and hold the pan a little bit closer. That way I try and catch all the fluid. And we'll let that drain then. With the gear oil down to just a slow drip, I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup in the area and then we'll put the uh, new drain plug and gasket on and start filling it up with new fluid. So this is the new fill and drain plug here. The crush washer it came with doesn't seem to be the right size and this was dealer serviced all its life before I bought it and there wasn't washers on either of them. The plug itself is clearly aluminum so maybe that is in and of itself the uh, crush washer slash gasket. The service manual from VW does call for a gasket, but in the depiction they have, which I'll put on screen here with the torque spec as well when I tighten it, there isn't a gasket in that picture either. And this wasn't leaking, so I think I'm just gonna put them on with just the plug, the new plugs, uh, new for fill and drain. And if it leaks, I get to change the fluid again. If it doesn't leak, great. Uh, torque spec for these with the hex head, is 30 newton meters. Again, I'll put that on screen when I'm torquing it. And uh, 45 if you have a, a, a Torx or a triple square. I can't remember which one it is. All right, so I'll clean up the surface just one more time there. And I'll take my plug only, new one, and we'll hand thread that in. And then we'll torque that to 30 Newton meters. All right, so now we're gonna torque that down. Uh, it's 30 Newton meters or 22.1 foot pounds in freedom units. So we'll go ahead and torque it to that. All right, now we'll fill it up. So to 
fill our fluid into the fill hole. I like using these. Uh, I've used them before when I do stuff on my Honda Element for uh, the real-time on-wheel drive differential. So you can just put it in your quart, or in this case, because it's European, a liter of fluid. This is the gear oil for the 2012 Mark VI Golf R. You just put it in and you pump it in. We'll just take our fill hose and we'll start pumping. Now, because it's a uh, one liter versus a quart and we use a different mouth size in Freedom Land, the uh, filler neck here doesn't exactly screw on, but it still does the job. Can tell the fluid was uh, definitely getting up there in age. This is much cleaner. see I'm just getting if I pump just a little bit more I get a steady stream coming out basically that's exactly how we want it that's how it was when we you know drained it so I'm gonna go get my drain or my sorry my fill plug now to put in I'm gonna pump a little bit up just to make sure I got the right amount all right got my fill plug here to put in new one same thing 10 millimeter Allen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump up the fluid a little bit more to get more in there. Um, just like we had a little bit when we took the fill plug out previously, just so we have the same exact amount. I'll put the fluid spec on screen, but you know, it's not rocket science. It's just looking for, do you have it up to the fill plug uh, hole essentially? Uh, you'll see I also took off the uh, plastic bit you'd screw into the lower end of your marine unit for the pump. Um, it just, it stays in there better when you don't have those two wings on there and you can stick the hose down inside. So we'll go ahead and we'll pump it up with some extra fluid here. Go ahead and pull out our hose. Take our fill plug, start screwing that in. out of our uh, fluid used. I'm trying to hold this level here. Basically, we have about 700 milliliters left of our last one here, which is right about on par. It's supposed to use just a little over two. So we'll go ahead now, clean up that area a little bit. That way we can tell later if we have a leak or not. Making sure it's clean, free of any residue. We'll take our torque wrench, still set to 30 Newton meters or 21 foot pounds. And we'll go ahead and tighten down our plug. And we'll just verify our fill plug again. All right, and our fluid level should be good, so now we'll fire up the car while it's on the lift here and make sure everything shifts smoothly. All right, we're in first gear. Second gear. Third gear, oh, it wants me to downshift. Yeah, seems to engage the gears just fine. Looks like it's working. Now it's time just to clean up. And now with the area cleaned up and both of them torqued to 30 Newton meters, I'm just gonna mark them just in case that way I know if they move, I know that I torqued them. Yeah. 
And that's all done. Now I'm just gonna take my drained out MTF and just pour it into these containers for recycling. And the job is done. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them and best of luck on your project.